Hello everyone. My name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yacht Sales and as you can see it's a little rainy and blustery today. But today I'm going to show you a boat that you can be warm and comfortable in any kind of weather. This is a 2006 Carver 44 cockpit motor yacht in just absolutely beautiful condition. She's very, very spacious, but I'm not going to talk about that out here. Come on inside and have a look at what this all seasons boat can do for you. Follow me. So look at this, we can gain this uh, space here from the cockpit, which is uh, just one of the ways of moving around this boat. There are so many other ways that you can gain this, uh, gain access to the boat is through the uh, door to the master cabin from the cockpit. I mean, that's just awesome. I mean, you wait till we get down there and have a look at what the master cabin's all about. You're, you're gonna be blown away. Another way to gain access to the boat is uh, through, and look at this, before I go out there, look at this. This is a fully enclosed aft deck, uh, not just a canvas door, but a full plexiglass door with a powdered aluminum frame. I mean, it's just like another room in here. It's just beautiful. Now here on the uh, port side, as you do on the starboard side, you've got uh, gunnel gates, uh, which you can access this way as well. Uh, of course, this requires stairs uh, on the dock, so it's, uh, it would be an ideal situation uh, for when you keep the boat in the boathouse or your permanent dock. One of the beautiful things about this space as well is that it's fully heated. Uh, there's not one but two vents off the S-bar that keep this toasty warm. As you can see, it's raining outside and it's a blustery fall day, but inside here it is just very, very warm and comfortable. Just a wonderful space to be in. Lots of storage space all throughout this boat. Storage space here and down below. And have a look at this. This is really cool. You've got a built-in recessing screen here that recesses right into the bulkhead. But also a sliding door to close off uh, your salon for the night. Isn't that nice? And it just fits and slides so perfectly. Hey, look at this couch, eh? Isn't this beautiful? It's uh, and in the great condition. I mean, this is a 2006 boat, but this couch looks virtually new. They kept, uh, they've really maintained the boat well all through the whole boat. The whole boat looks like this. Right here, we've got uh, a deck chair, and an, it comes with a second deck chair as well. So, with uh, the uh, couch, it'll seat uh, probably four and two deck chairs you got at least six people up here very very comfortably and very warm so here we have a rigid hardtop this could be a sunroom just a beautiful space to hang out on a, in an anchorage and just imagine yourself sitting up here with a beer or a glass of wine uh, sitting on the hook and just drifting around and looking at all the beautiful vista all around you Notice the uh, molded stairs. They're not ladders, they're molded stairs, molded right into the fiberglass. Very gradual slope, very easy to access when you're carrying things like uh, maybe a tray of drinks or something. But uh, uh, up here in the uh, helm station, well, I'm gonna save that for later. Come on down below, let me show you what's going on down here. Hey, look at this space, will ya? Boy, this is just beautiful. Look at the size of this salon. It's huge, absolutely huge. You know, the, uh, the sellers have a very, very large family and uh, they've got five kids and uh, boy, oh boy, you know, this boat would uh, handle five kids and a couple of adults, no problem at all. Just look at this salon, it's beautiful. And check this out, eh? Look at this large settee. And this is only one of two settees and you know what, I like this. See this little strap here and it just pulls up and there we go. Wow, isn't this great? I love the feel of this. And it's not one but two. Two of these seats have the same thing. And a nice corner seat over here. So over here you've got your AC and DC panels. Uh, notice that uh, your generator uh, start button is right here. And by the way, let's talk a little bit about the generator. It's a Kohler, uh, just over 500 hours on it, uh, putting out 10 kilowatts of power, so more than you could ever, ever need. 
Uh, notice how well they're all laid out with your amp meters, DC amp meters there. And on the other side is your AC control center. Uh, very conveniently located side by side. Just above that, you have a large uh, LCD TV and uh, storage uh, right next to that over here. Now in that storage space, uh, your uh, stereo center is in there as well. Here we have uh, access to your uh, master cabin and you just wait till you see what's down there. It's just beautiful. I love this, this end table is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Storage just above it. We have uh, your uh, S-bar controls here uh, for um, the uh, diesel heat. And just above that, you've got air conditioning and reverse air. Lots of heat, very, very comfortable boat, especially on a day like today. Now over here, uh, we have another settee on the starboard side. And uh, this settee is uh, made out of the same beautiful soft leather. And uh, this bed, uh, or this settee actually becomes a bed. It's a large double, very, very comfortable. So not only do you have two cabins, but for those extra, extra guests, you got uh, sleeping quarters for them right here. Now over here, and this is, this is nice, is this dinette, this solid piece of cherry table, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And sitting here, looking outside at the beautiful vista and the anchorage that you're going to be in, This is awesome. Right in behind here, we got the windshield just pouring all this beautiful light in over, over your shoulder. Yeah, it's a great spot. And look at this, just underneath here, more storage. And you know, look at the size of this drawer. This could almost be a pantry drawer. And the dinette's where it should be, right next to the galley. And just up high enough so you can look out the windows while you're having lunch or breakfast. And uh, close enough to the galley so it's not inconvenient. Now here in the galley, this is a, this is a wonderful space, L-shaped galley. Look at the storage over here, everywhere. Glasses storage with their, all their own separators and dividers and a great storage that goes very, very deep all the way into the back and storage here as well. Bank of drawers underneath the stove here, a cutlery drawer with all of your dividers and more storage and more storage below. And yet more storage. Oh, look at this with this uh, beautiful Lazy Susan that swings out. That just makes it even more convenient for everyone. Now appliances. We have uh, a three burner electric stove. Um, and next to that, we've got a convection microwave oven. And over here, a built-in espresso maker and perfectly fits into that space. Isn't that nice? Look at this just down below. These are all your espresso pods. You know what? I just might make one of those in a bit. And more storage right here next to it. And a martini shaker. Okay. Down below here we've got a, a freezer fridge side-by-side -side unit. And that's pretty much it for the galley. Just a beautiful space. Very, very convenient. Uh, safe to work in with this L-shaped configuration and loads of light when you're Standing here working in this space, your guests are right here, so it's a galley up configuration, which is very nice. Your dinette right there, guests on both your port and starboard settees. What more could you ask for? Come on for it, I want to show you where the uh, guest cabin is. So here we are in the guest cabin, a uh, large double bed, uh, hang up locker, a couple of drawers down below, which is nice. Private entrance into the day head right here. And of course you've got uh, privacy here for, for the cabin itself. Now this is kind of cool. Uh, just above here we've got a uh, Clarion DVD player uh, that actually drives this, uh, this TV that flips down. Right here we've got a port light and drawers in the uh, bulkhead just above on both sides. Uh, curtains to cover the port lights and uh, quite a quite a nice comfortable bed seems uh, very soft probably about four inch foam bed and right here is your day head with a shower 
and vacuum flush toilet, but also a private entrance to the day head from your guest suite. Isn't that nice? Now down below here is your master cabin. So here we are in the master cabin. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, all this cherry wood and the cherry wood end tables. Well, just cherry wood everywhere. It's lovely. And I really like this queen walk around bed. This is perfect uh, be, to be able to climb out of bed and uh, not have to disturb your partner when you're doing that. Uh, we've got a full cedar lined hang up locker right here. And just look at all this storage right here, eh? It's beautiful. Very deep drawers in the bottom. And down below here, you've got your main DC breakers and battery switches. And underneath the bed here, we have a tremendous amount of storage in uh, three separate compartments. Once again, we've got your S-Bar uh, climate control here, as well as your AC and reverse air uh, over there in the corner. Right here is uh, entrance into your head. And uh, notice how big this stand-up shower is. Separate shower with a plexiglass door. Plenty of space in here. Beautiful uh, marble countertop with a recessed sink and a vacuum flush toilet right here. Very bright. Uh, you've got a big storage cabinet just above for medicines and toothpaste and what have you. So right here we have a TV uh, with a DVD player. And uh, just below that we've got this uh, pretty big cedar lined hang up locker. But you know, the creme de la creme of this is this opening onto the cockpit. Just a beautiful, beautiful access to the cockpit from your private space here. Imagine yourself uh, with your guest uh, still sleeping, you sitting out here in the cockpit with a coffee. Just, just a wonderful way to experience nature. and Just be at one with each other and with your boat. So, step up access uh, to get into bed on both sides. Uh, you've got opening port lights on uh, two sides here for fresh air, as well, of course, uh, this uh, screen cover for your uh, door to the cockpit, air conditioning above, and reading lights right here. More storage here, and on the other side in the same spot. Pretty nice, eh? Wow, wasn't that an amazing space? It's so comfortable and so spacious. But wait till you see the bridge. Come on up here. So here we are on the bridge. And just look at this space, will you? You know, you got room for lots of people here in this uh, settee and uh, helm station right here with the, uh, the uh, helm seat pivot so that uh, you can turn around and face your guests. Uh, and over here, you've got a co-pilot seat, which is nice. A second pair of eyes in the water is always good, especially in the Pacific Northwest. And here we are with the uh, controls, all very accessible to your, to your hand here. We've got uh, a bow thruster, and you're ready for this, stern thruster as well. And the controls are right here, very easy to access. Just above that, you've got uh, your... Uh, autopilot, it's a Raymarine ST6000, and below uh, you've got your searchlight remote and your electronic controls. Now, you, if you haven't used electronic controls in the past, you're in for a treat. These are so responsive, um, you will never go back to cable controls again. Here we have all of your engine gauges, uh, your fireboy control uh, wipers and various uh, switches to activate your uh, heaters and fans and what have you. Uh, over here we've got your VHF and just above that uh, we've got uh, a C-Series Raymarine. Now this is beautiful. There's $20,000 worth of new electronics in this boat including this uh, late model C-Series Raymarine GPS chart plotter 
This, uh, this has everything in it, including AIS and uh, digital radar. Uh, it has uh, depth, uh, speed over ground, course over ground. Uh, you can plot with it. Uh, you can set it up into any configuration that you want. Um, it uh, accesses cameras that you've got on your docking side as well as your stern. Everything is there. It's, a, it's an amazing piece of equipment and it's very, very user friendly. When you're behind the helm, I'm sitting here and looking out over the bow and it's great visibility and not just forward, but all round. Uh, this boat has 360 degree visibility uh, from this space and it's very, very comfortable to maneuver, uh, keeping in mind that you've got not just a bow thruster, but a stern thruster as well. We're in a very tight space here and the uh, owner brought it in with no trouble whatsoever with those powerful engines, those big props, and uh, the bow and stern thruster. So she's powered with uh, Volvo D6s, uh, very low hours, uh, somewhere in the area of about 800 hours, and uh, 370 horsepower aside, more than enough power to get this boat to where you want to go very quickly. Top end speed is around 20 knots, but a comfortable cruise would be 15 to 17 knots. Look how easy it is to access the engine space. She's got twin Volvo Penta D6 diesels and a generator, 10 kilowatt generator. For electrical equipment, we've got Pronautic 2420P battery chargers from ProMariner, a Magnusign Magnum inverter with 2800 watt capacity, large house battery bank for AGM L16. Look at this dinghy package. 11 foot Carib, center console, well powered with an 18 horsepower Tahutso outboard. Olsen Roskelly 800 pound electric davit. Now you don't need an 800 pound electric davit to lift, lift this dinghy, but there it is in case you get a bigger one. And a Delta anchor secured with all chain. And look at these, look at these new sun pads on the foredeck. Just a great place to be when you're underway uh, just relaxing in the sunshine with uh, maybe a margarita or a beer or just hanging out when you're in an anchorage. A great spot to just recline and relax and read a book. Well there you have it folks. Didn't I tell you this was a beautiful yacht? Wonderfully well kept, beautiful cherry wood interior, performs exceptionally well and huge absolutely huge to entertain your family and your friends in extreme comfort with all of the heating and air conditioning and everything else that you saw on board that boat. Give us a call. You'll be glad you did.